Salam alaikum to all distinguished participants, members of the Parliament, Excellencies, experts and colleagues. At the outset, allow me to express our deep gratitude to the government of Uzbekistan for having organized this event, the Cultural Heritage Week and the Fifth International Congress, Study, Preservation and Popularization of the Cultural Legacy of Uzbekistan at the present stage. This initiative, covering a number of important topics on culture and society, traditions and creativity, echoes the solid cooperation enjoyed by UNESCO with your country for decades. Under the extremely treacherous global situation due to the COVID-19 pandemic, such an initiative to recall the contribution of cultures to the well-being of the societies and intergenerational solidarity is very valuable for us to renew commitment in transmitting what we inherited from the past and in exploring innovative ways to make our societies more resilient and sustainable. One of the pillars of the cooperation between UNESCO and the government of Uzbekistan includes the preservation of the country's world heritage properties, namely the historic centers of Shakrishbaj, Bukhara, Samarkand, and Ichankala. These historic cities have been all playing an important role in our global history as crossroads of cultures, which stimulate intercultural exchanges and development in technology, scientific knowledge, artistic, artistic skills, and expression along the Great Silk Roads. Another area I would like to highlight is the excellent cooperation in the field of uh, safeguarding living heritage. Safeguarding projects at the Margilan Craft Development Center, which have been selected on the Register of Good Safeguarding Practices, manifests the country's ongoing support and commitment towards the safeguarding of intangible cultural heritage. They are truly inspiring examples of safeguarding practices to other cultures and communities around the world. UNESCO works to support the preservation, safeguarding and promotion of Uzbekistan's rich and diverse cultural heritage, also as a part of the common heritage along the Silk Roads. The European Union, with UNESCO partnership, project and uh, launched in 2018, um, they has allowed us to build the capacities of cultural heritage experts and intangible uh, cultural heritage barriers, make conservation works at the Bogbonili Mosque at Ichankala in Shiva and promote transboundary tourist routes through a platform on World Heritage Journeys that will compromise and comprise information on the UNESCO designated sites in the Central Asia and Iran so as to support the development of sustainable tourism in the region. As many of you know, the UNESCO's program on the publication History of Civilization of Central Asia accumulated knowledge and aimed at disseminating relatively little known cultural aspects of Central Asia, which refer not only to these World Heritage Sites, but also to the collection of museums and living traditions of Central Asia and Uzbekistan. Today, the launch of 40 new illustrated book albums from the cultural legacy of Uzbekistan in World Collection series will further enrich our knowledge of diverse aspects of culture of Uzbekistan with the unprecedented collaboration of experts in a variety of fields. I am confident that this continued and collective efforts in collecting, analyzing and disseminating knowledge on history and culture of Uzbekistan will contribute to ensuring a balanced approach to safeguarding the country's rich cultural heritage, tangible and intangible, and addressing its development in a sustainable way. I am also pleased about the launch of the new International Advisory Committee for World Heritage Properties in Uzbekistan, gathering international and national experts in the preservation and management of the World Heritage Sites. The committee will hold its first hybrid meeting during the International Forum, a forum that will be held in Shiva under the auspices of the President of the Republic, His Excellency Shavkat Mirziyoyev, 
and organized in collaboration with UNESCO. Through these structures, taking as models other UNESCO-led successful international commitments for World Heritage, such as for Angkor or, or Lubini in Nepal, UNESCO renewed its commitment to supporting the authorities of Uzbekistan for a lasting preservation of the country's historic and artistic legacies. Thank you so much for your kind attention.